time for us to visit. We've been parked there on the harbour that has a um, boat ramp right in front of it, so I'm hoping I can. Well, she got me back. I think it counts for two. <laughs> Charmaine Squid. Just done that, so I'll throw you back. Good work, mate. Thank you. Oh, don't kill yourself. Oh. <laughs> Here we are, it's time for us to visit Air Peninsula. So yeah, we're heading straight through Wyala, we're going down to a place called Cow for about four days. Uh, it's, there's a caravan park there on the harbour that has a um, boat ramp right in front of it, so I'm hoping I can take the uh, tinny off the roof and um, yeah, get a couple of days. Of This is us all set up at Cow. Massive side. That's all ours. Plenty of room to get the boat off and um, leave it here for the next couple of days. Been typical South Australia for us. We uh, just get out in the boat and absolutely blowing a go, and it's as choppy as it can be. It looks like we're turning around and going back. Hopefully, fish off that too. Well, that's about it for cow. We didn't get to do much here, unfortunately. Um, had a massive rain event coming in. We ended up getting about 100 mil of rain yesterday, so there was flat flooding everywhere. Uh, also, we got the news that WA's borders are staying closed to interstate travellers, so. Um, had to contemplate where Glenn's going to be because after Air Peninsula that was our next move so um, we're heading on to Tummy Bay today we're going to keep doing the rest of Air Peninsula so um, hopefully we can get out and do some fishing and um, go and see some good stuff. for a storm I reckon. What do you think babe? Definitely. It's us just all set up at Tummy Bay. Uh, it's raining a bit but yeah hopefully we can get out and do some fishing off the jetty. Lunch time. I've got myself Half a dozen massive oysters from Cowell. Uh, yeah, they're locally produced there. Uh, bought uh, bought two dozen for about yeah twenty bucks. Looks like about ten bucks a dozen. And they're really really good. It's actually a meal in half a dozen of them. See this? Look at the size of them. Just here at uh, Tumby Bay Jetty. Gonna go for a squid fish. Um, see how we go. I remember last time I was here, we were um, yeah, pulling them in off the jetty real well. It's a um, good fishing spot, but we got that uh, weather system over there coming in, so we'll see, um, yeah, we'll see how long we get before we have to turn in. Loving the crocs and socks, babe. <laughs> Thank you. Just 
got to get him up on the jetty and then we've got to feed. What, you don't get ink like last time? <laughs> no, I'm moving away. <laughs> He's only got on one, one tentacle. Gonna lose him. Don't, sure. don't lose him. There's another one following it, see? Oh, wow. Got Roger again. We should. Let's see if we can cook him better. There he goes. So Stu's just caught another squid. Hopefully we don't lose it this time. Oh, nice, look at that. And safe. Oh. Well done, we're losing through there. We got dinner. Oh. We got one squid anyway before the rain come in. Yeah, that's good. Time to clean the squid. So the other thing I do, just makes it more tender. I uh, slice it all the way through. Do cut the two little end bits off. And I just put lines in it everywhere, crisscross it. Comes in a lot of end around the barbie. It'll curl up like a pig's tail, but. Um, Turns out to be quite a bit more tender. And there you have it. So yeah, I'll show you how they cook up later. Well, this is it for Tumby Bay. We're just going for one final walk on the jetty. We've actually got a good morning this morning. Uh, we're heading to Port Lincoln. So we're going, yeah, right down the southern end of Air Peninsula. Uh, hopefully we can explore the national park and that while we're there. Uh, the Caribbean park we're staying at looks like it has its own jetty so there'll be no doubt more fish and if we keep getting weather like this we'll get the boat out so see you soon well, we're all settled in at Port Lincoln and check out the view I think we're gonna love this place got a boat ramp right there within the caravan park a couple of areas to fish and it has its own jetty and its own little beaches. What do you think, babe? I like it. So we're heading down to the boat ramp at one of the caravan parks here in Port Lincoln. Um, we're going to go do a bit of fishing. Stuart's made a makeshift uh, boat trailer. I think it's pretty innovative. <laughs> the weather's too good to resist. So we're going for an afternoon spin, try and get some squid. Uh, Use that as some bait, we'll um, then see if we can set the crab traps and um, see if there's any blue swimmers in the area. And we might even try fishing for some whiting. Well, I certainly hope that doesn't come and get us. A squid. See if we can ink the dog. Oh. You grab the net? Yeah, I might. Yeah. Keep it low. <laughs> Keep it low. I'll have a crack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. This is always a very nerve wracking time. There we go. Easy. One down. Fantastic. Your turn. Just change locations to in front of the marine centre here. Looks like a bit of broken down on the sounder. We haven't had any luck since we caught that first one. And we just got another one. Good choice coming here. Straight away. There you go. Yes. Another southern calamari. <laughs> And Shemaine is on with the purple one. About time. I was out doing you two to one. <laughs> what do you reckon, Boris? Okay, stop, stop winding. Yep. Uh, Bring in with the rod, keeping tension. Oh! 
Oh, she got me back. I think I've just lost the t-shirt. That was an accident. <laughs> and it's bigger than mine. <laughs> so that counts for two? <laughs> Happened to drift past a bunch of weed and I spotted a lure in it to score. Well, we've got to go into town, so I think we're going to call it an afternoon. This time I'm doing the squid into three different piles. We've got food for us, fishing bait, and bait for crab traps. Well, we're at the Hotel Boston for lunch. I think I'm going to go chicken schnitzel with a burger topping, which comes with Napolitana sauce, minced beef, gherkins, American cheese, American mustard, tomato and grilled cheese. Sounds delicious. Not a bad view. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Australia Day. Check that out. Yeah, I... Steer away from the old faithful. <laughs> Can't go wrong with the chicken snooty. Well, that was unreal. How do you feel? Full. <laughs> Very full. This is the town jetty, the main uh, city centre of Port Lincoln. There's the shipping port over there. And yeah, see the right behind us. Just come down to the Maritime Museum. It's actually closed today, but um, open tomorrow. We'll see if we get time to come down and have a look. There's a couple of interesting things out the front though. The old whale bottle pot and that big piece of bone there that's um, lower jaw of the whale. Just at the Louth Bay jetty, I've come for a drive over here. So a few people over there having fun on the beach for Australia Day. Um, yeah, it's definitely windier over this side. One thing we have realised about being on our peninsula, um, Port Lincoln's actually very sheltered, so it's protected from the predominant southeast winds here. So it's a good place to stay. So we could probably take our boat out today, and we might even look at that Savo. So if we get out and build a bit of fishing Savo, but about an hour after um, we got back. So it's a bit windy today, but not enough for the water to be choppy. Stu and I are going to go fishing. Um, hopefully we have some luck. We'll see how we go. You know, I like it some crab. We've got some of the um, heads and guts and wings from the uh, squid we caught the other day. So we'll see how they go. Some fresh bait anyway. Trap set, see if we can get some fish. Nothing? Nothing. First cast at the new spot, which is straight onto a squid. I don't want to stop winding. Now? Do you yeah, think? I, keep going. A bit more. I don't want it to ink. Oh, well, I'm in my fishing shirt today. Okay, but as long as it goes your way. <laughs> oh, it just inked. You yeah. are good. <laughs> it's a good squid, babe. Charmaine squid. Bites, so little Tommy's are trying to take it. Just let him run with it. So we can. Only took a couple of seconds, but I've got a little Tommy. And um, believe it or not, you can actually keep them at this size. They don't have a size limit. I thought they'd get a lot bigger, but um, 
Yeah, they're actually a pretty small fish, but they're pretty good to smoke, apparently. Oh, you've got a few. Oh, oh wow. wow. We got a massive blue one swimmer. Big one. Look at the size of that one. Amazing. Whoa. And here's something else to add to the seafood smorgasbord. Beautiful male blue swimmer crab. Move this trap to about 1.5 metres of water, whereas the last trap was in about 3 metres of water. So, um, yeah, we'll see if this turns out any good. Nothing. Nothing. We'll take her out of deeper water, eh? Yep. We're over the sand hole, so drop. Babe, give me some crabs. Yep, another big one. Another good blue swimmer? Yes. Awesome. Oh. Trying to get the dog killed. It's another mate. A bit more feisty this one. Another beautiful blue swimmer. Yeah, babe, show us one more. Outcome, a couple of blue swimming crabs and a nice squid. And um, yeah, we'll cook up a, a bit of seafood tonight for dinner. You just stay there, mate. We'll drag you up the hill. Well, we've just been slaving away in the kitchen for probably the last hour and a half, but we have whipped up an awesome dinner. So, some of it's like locally caught. We obviously got the crabs, bought the oysters, they're local from Cow, cooked them up Kilpatrick style. The prawns are local from Spencer Gulf, the calamari here is um, what we caught. We've done it in two sorts of forms, like we've done them in calamari rings, and then um, I've done some in an Asian spicy sauce, and um, yeah, then we've got some scallops. They're the only thing here that's not local. But looking forward to it, eh, babe? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be delicious. What the size of these prawns? And they're from just out the bay there. Mm. All right, We've got a few leftovers. We couldn't get through all that, but um, now it's time to clean one of the crabs. Give another cut down there. Obviously, you got to clean all this off. And here's the final result. Awesome blue swimmer claw. Look how much more meat in these ones. The ones we're catching with our brothel. Well, that's it for Port Lincoln. Um, we're off to a place called Coffin Bay. Very famous for its oysters, so once again we're going to be smacking, well I'm going to be eating some oysters because Shemaine doesn't like them, so uh, yeah we're going to go there for a night, maybe two, um, we'll see how it goes, yeah. apparently it's another pretty sheltered bay, so if we can get out of the boat we'll give that a crack, huh? Yep, sounds you good. You worry? I don't think Boris knows what's going on. This is us, all set up on Coffin Bay, directly across from the Oyster headquarters, and um, where you can do the tours. Yeah. 
Just go check this place out. camp somewhere on the way up. Um, but yeah, for now it's just Venus Bay, we'll see how we go. We're gonna, um, yeah, try and set up there for maybe a week, maybe just a few days, because it looks like there's a place where we can get the boat on the water and do some fishing. this just got lunch in the oven a couple of homemade pies from um, some spag bar we had the other night in the oven ready to go for when we get there check this out what a spot beach access straight down there should be able to get the tinny down go out do plenty of Thirty-seven metres, whereas on the eastern side of Port Lincoln, all the way across to the east coast, is um, thirty-five 
22 centimetres. Fortunately, only 28 centimetres. Quite. First fish, 32 centimetres. Good on you, babe. We got dinner. <laughs> Is it? Oh no, I'm tidying in a knot. Oh! I'm not losing him. Well, yeah, that's that's for sure. <laughs> I don't know how you managed that. Another one down. <laughs> Looks a bit small, doesn't he, babe? Just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. So the second fish that I caught is um, 30 centimetres on the dot, so that's two for me, none for Stu. <laughs> Australian salmon. Night's roast trip carcass for a bit of burley. You're on. Come on. It's knotting itself. My first fish of the morning. Yeah, it's the biggest salmon. Oh, and yesterday. Stu's on. <laughs> Good hit. Still there. Yep, he's yeah. still there. Probably also a salmon. Do you want the net? Nah. Okay. Let's see what he brings in. Salmon? Yeah, but not as big as yours. Oh, well, look at that one there. It's yours. Oh, it is. <laughs> Have a little sambo. Not bad. No, it wouldn't be as big as yours. <laughs> That's a real big runs off the page. Mm. It's across the whiting. Mm. I doubt it. Not fine, not right. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Salmon? No. Maybe. Hard to tell. Oh, look, there's another one following it's it. It's a big warrior. Get in there. 
King George Whitey. Oh, well done. I'll hold the rod. I love this place. So it's game over for me already, so early in the morning, happened to snap me right. I'd love to tell you it was a uh, big whiting or a big fish, but it definitely wasn't. It's more like a clump of weed that probably laid, weighed 40 kilos and um, had the drag set too tight, so a bit of a bummer. Gonna have to get a new one. Schmain's on again. Good whiting, babe. It's a good one. Oi! Not bad whiting, babe. Yay! <laughs> Didn't get time to hit record, but Shemaine just got her first double hookup. Another whiting and a tiny little baby salmon, I think. Unless it's a herring, I'm not sure. A little tiny, but yeah. We'll have a look. Shemaine's on again. And I think you've lost it, Del. No, buried in the weed. Um, lifting straight up. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. That's a big Tommy. Yeah, Tommy salmon. I'm not sure. No. Good work, bud. Thank you. He's just under, so we'll throw him back. You still got him. What do you got this time, babe? What do you reckon? By the fight. Oh, it is a whiting. Yay. See how he goes for size. You getting bites? I am. Quite a few, actually. Yep, I'm on. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> that worked well. Yeah, they say we can throw him straight back. <laughs> oh. Grab the, grab the. Nah, uh, going up for the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Shemaine has once again outfished me in the water department. So we're gonna go and try and get some, um, we're gonna go set the crab traps. There's apparently sand crabs around here. We'll see if we can get some of those. And um, in the meantime, while we're waiting to check the traps, we'll throw a squid jig around. Um, we've been told that not been getting many here, but the ones that have been getting a big, so we'll give it a crack. Really? Yeah, we've got four. 
Oh, wow. Sad crabs? It's all those little sandies. Yes. Yeah, Corrie, you don't want to get bitten. I'll just tip all them back. Okay. Yeah, One of them's quite big. Yeah. Come on, Nick, aren't they? How many in this one, you reckon? I reckon three. I reckon about four as well. Spider crabs and two sand crabs. Alright. Looks like the last crab, and we're going in for lunch. Lunch Well, we're pretty happy with that harvest. Time to go fill it. So it's become real windy again, so we've decided um, what a better time to go check out some of the sites as we usually do in the Weather turns, so yeah, we're going to check out the Wood Bullshed Cave near Talia Caves. Nah, this is where we're heading. Yeah, check this place out. I reckon some of South Australia's coastline is very similar to that of um, Great Ocean Road. So if you're allowed to go down close to the water, or like, oh, not really fenced off, and it's not quite as good with tourists. Come on, don't kill yourself. Oh. <laughs> and the roof looks like old corals from when the water level used to be up here once upon a time. It was a little bit of a slippery crossing to get across here. Shemaine's just tackling it now. Check out all the rock pools around here. We're going to find something in one of them. This place is awesome. Thank you. 